The Turks and Caicos are seeing a high crime rate. Our correspondent DeAndre Hamilton reports on what police commissioner and governor are saying in response. Crime is overwhelmingly high in the Turks and Caicos, and while many of the gun attacks, which have resulted in one of the highest murder rates in the world, are targeted, Police Commissioner Edwin Martin says ballistics have exposed that a small faction is responsible for the shootings and figures are too high for the police to cut crime alone. Of the 930 crimes we have identified, 784 are assigned to Provo. 110 of those are associated with Grand Turk. Again, I say to you, we need your help, members of the public. The commissioner says he needs more manpower, more precincts, and more marine assets. He announced the coming of a mobile police station scheduled for a mid-October arrival. These efforts have been approved already by the lead on national security for the islands, the governor. What we are facing is complex. It is an evolving threat, and there is no easy solution. As the Commissioner has outlined, what we are not seeking to do is some form of heroic policing and throwing resource or quick surges to try and drive a change. A holistic transformation which has established multi-agency and multinational cooperation is what the Governor touted as working well. Her message included an appeal. Criminality of this nature relies on exploiting vulnerabilities in our communities. Information is held in our communities and it is key that we build your trust and confidence so that you feel safe to come forward. Over 14,000 residents watched that press conference held on September 17th. Since then, two new murders have been recorded for 33 so far in 2024. DeAndre Hamilton from the Turks and Caicos reporting.